Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial and today we're going to create that you can have up to four different textures in one material or sh shader. Um, first, if you didn't watch the two different texture tutorial, please go first to watch that tutorial. I explain a lot of uh, this system already. Uh, this is kind of like a tutorial where we are going forth in what we learned in the last episode uh, about the two different textures. Also, it's very important that you need to know that it works like you have four sliders and you use those four sliders for the four different textures and every slider um, is being controlled by one of the colors, one of the variables of another texture, the splash texture. Um, so for the first texture there is red, for the second texture there is green, blue and alpha. So, so it will just go on. But it means that if you have all them fill up, so all uh, for one. So red, blue, green and alpha is all turned on. You have uh, can have four times the actual value that should be within your editor. So you can have from all those textures you got the max. That means that it will look ugly. So that doesn't mean that this shader is bad. That just means that if you are going to use a shader or you're using by with procedural uh, terrain generation or you're using a third uh, party software like Blender where you can just paint it uh, vertex colors I think it's called and you can just add that splash map towards this material but otherwise it will maybe be a kind of hard and everything but that is up to you guys if I will explain all this this will take well hours and hours uh, how vertex colors works and everything else this is only meant for the shader itself and how to program it um, so just play around with yourself and you will see how it exactly works. So now we are going towards, uh, uh, we are going to create a new shader first. Uh, and we are going to call it four different textures. So just open it. Moment. All right, so let me just zoom in. So this is what we did last time. We're just going to copy it and paste it all right here. And of course, you're just going to change this one to four, and we're just going to fix all this stuff. So that it's a little bit better, at least in my opinion. Um, so now what we're going to do is also fix this <laughs> what we're going to do is just copy this and paste this and call the third texture and the fourth texture again you can just add the UVs uh, in this but it can take up to four and we need the splash uh, texture for sure so just choose whatever you want that uh, can be anything um, but you can take them all so that's the kind of sucks but probably you don't need it um, here we are just going to copy this again and paste it and We are just going to copy and paste this also. It's a lot of copy and pasting this time. It's not very hard uh, from the two different textures to four. The third color and the fourth color. And just again copy this to make sure that you have the right one. You don't make any mistakes. So last time we did it like this. We need to calculate exactly what it was. This time it's going to be a little bit differently. We can just have the main color, the RPG, is the same as the splashy color and from that the red value. From the second color it only needs to know what the green color is. From um, 
The third color, the fourth color, uh, the third color is all you need to know uh, what the blue color is. And from the fourth color, it only needs to know what the alpha is. So now we can assign this one. Um, whoops, that one, and that one. Um, this is actually everything. It's <laughs> very basic from what we did last time. It's exactly the same, almost. Uh, only the calculations are a little bit different. Again, the same as last time. If you guys want me also to add the uh, bump map, height map, just put it in the comment section. Last time there was one, pe one person who wanted it. So if there are more, we will also add that. Uh, but this was it for this tutorial uh, part. And I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please leave a like or a subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time with another tutorial. Bye.